JC1424 once again with NASCAR 2011, the game. And this is going to be the first episode of the Race Now series that we're going to be starting in this game. We just finished NASCAR 15, so I don't have to play that game for a really freaking long time. The first episode was requested by Austin Stidzel, and he asked for us to go to Charlotte Motor Speedway with Jamie McMurray's number one McDonald Chevrolet. So, I guess that makes sense. Let's go to single player, uh, NASCAR drivers. If you go to all cars, I think it has a bunch of like custom cars and stuff like that that we don't need. Um, I'm rank 11 right now. I still got shit that is locked. That really sucks. Speaking of shit that is locked, Jamie McMurray's McDonald's car is locked. So, I, I guess we can't race with McDonald's today. So, in order to make up for the fact that I'm not allowed to race this card that he wants me to race, I guess we're just going to have to go to McDonald's while we race. So, yeah. Got the Bass Pro Shops car right here. We're going to pick that one. Uh, and now we got a loading screen. I don't know why we got a loading screen of all things to pick tracks and crap. I have done, I think, two races at this track. We're going to do this race 16 laps because I feel like that is the best challenge for getting the win. This is not a very difficult game whatsoever. I mean, it can be depending on how many laps you give yourself and how many cars you have to pass. Sometimes the field really spreads out, especially the leader. He always pulls away like crazy. But we're going to play on the ultimate difficulty, which is very hard. Which is not very hard, so I don't know why it's called very hard, but yeah. Um... We're not going to do qualifying, we never do that. We're going to start from last place all the time. Uh, I'm going to have tire wear and fuel use on, but we can't take pit stops. I don't know why pit stops aren't a thing in this game. Apparently you have to have really, really long races to have pit stops. That is so stupid. The people who made this game are idiots. Um, cosmetic damage so that we don't have to waste time restarting races because I'm blowing the hell up and ruining the entire video. Um, and cautions, of course. There are going to be a lot of cautions in this series. And they I don't know why they always throw this setups thing. So the loading screens always take a while. I think they usually take about 30 seconds. Okay. We got Bass Pro Shops car. I mean, it's a nice paint scheme. It's better than the McDonald's paint scheme. At the same time, it's not the McDonald's paint scheme. Green flag is out. We are underway for 16 laps of Charlotte Motor Speedway. Beginning of the NASCAR 2011 The Game Race Now series. I've got to be really serious. Really serious? Really, um... I forgot what I was going to say. Really careful that I don't go driving into people and causing too many cautions. Because then this race is going to go by way too quickly. I just drove in the back of that 0 car. I think that's Rudiman. Okay, they're all going to go really slow off the corner right here. Dive down underneath that deadly slow car, whoever that was. I think that was 36. Okay, we're already in 30th place because of that crap. Dale's back here. Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Joey Logano. Well, that made sense. That was in 2010. He was that bad. Okay. Joey Logano's uh, original Home Depot scheme was just the freaking greatest, man. That's like my favorite Home Depot scheme ever. And my favorite driver is Tony Stewart, so that goes to show how awesome that paint scheme really is that I'm not dedicated to Tony Stewart's Home Depot paint schemes. Uh, okay, so we're already in 18th place after two laps. I'm not going to be continuing passing cars this fast, just saying. And the air conditioner just shot off, so that's great. And apparently Matt Kinsey is high. My spotter says he is. I don't know. Uh, here's Truex in his 56 car back whenever he raced for Wall Trip. And then, see, that was after he stopped driving this car that we're driving right now, the number one car for uh, DEI. And shortly after McMurray got this car, DEI shut down and his one car went to Chip Ganassi. Oh my god, we are in the middle right now. Okay, Boyer, nice one. <laughs> Almost killed everybody. The damage in this game is kind of screwed up, like tearing off and shredding effect, and it's stupid, but same time it looks kind of cool for damage. I wouldn't exactly prefer it. Okay, Mark Martin. Mark Martin has a lot of paint schemes in this game, but they're all mostly the same if you ask me. Okay, we're already in the top ten in seventh place. 
Um, way up on the outside, having some turning problems. Hi, Tony. You're my favorite driver. Don't wreck me. Then you wouldn't be my favorite driver anymore for the rest of the race. Uh, Carl Edwards in the Aflac car. I love the Aflac car. We need an Aflac car again. Man, that was the shit. That was my favorite Carl Edwards uh, deal. It's Aflac car. The commercials, you know, whatever, but cars are awesome. Kurt Busch is currently in the lead right now, and he's trying to pull away. I currently have the fastest lap, of course, because that only makes sense in this game. Sometimes I don't get the fastest lap, and usually in that situation I don't win the race. But, uh, yeah. I'm not just the best at everything whenever it comes to this game. Sometimes I can't handle some of the crap. I just drove it in the freaking outside wall in the front stretch. That's so professional. Uh, Juan Pablo Montoya is in third place. Something about that just isn't right, man. Oh, car's getting a little loose. So this is my future teammate. Well, I mean, I think it's my future teammate. I'm not exactly sure right now. Was he like my uh, McMurray's teammate for one year? I think he might have been. I know Kyle Larson didn't come in until 2014. So McMurray and Montoya had to have been teammates for at least one year. Jeff Burton is in second. He's driving that 31 car. Yeah, this game came out like a couple years before he retired, if I'm correct. Okay, now we just gotta close this gap between me and Jeff Burton and then Kurt Busch. This car is getting really freaking loose. I don't know if I can say that's tire wear or if that's just the loose glitch. I, someone told me about a loose glitch a long time ago in some video where your car just suddenly gets loose everywhere you go. I might have noticed it playing this game. They got all kinds of arcadey points counting crap in this game, which is how you rank up. And I, I don't agree with it. It's just too much drafting points, this, this, and this. It's more arcadey than EA Sports drafting crap. Uh, well, we're catching Kurt Busch. We are already past the halfway point, and we're about to take the lead from Kurt Busch. Am I really that good at this game, or is these AI not trying hard enough? I do not know. Maybe if I'd gotten caught up in more crap in the race. Maybe if they weren't so glitching and slowing down the middle of nowhere at the beginning of the race, we would have had more cars to pass in a longer period of time or something like that. I don't know. As we head into the front stretch, we're going to pass Kurt Busch at the finish line, and now we have five laps to go, I think, no, six laps to go, and we're in the lead, so we might as well just skip to the end and win this race already. Well, Kurt Busch is trying to fight back, but that's not going to happen. Um, yeah. And, well, I guess you guys can just uh, enjoy watching me eat that hamburger. Three, two... One. White flag is out. Final lap of the race. Okay. Also, coming off of turn four on lap um, 14, I smacked the outside of the wall and just gave my bass pro shops fish complete and total diarrhea. So, if you heard the engine at a way lower rev than usual, then that was probably why. It probably was. Okay. So, I guess the first half of this race was awesome and then the rest was just complete and total garbage which it might be like that most of the time. But I'll, I'll just skip through it so you don't have to bear this ridiculousness. We got the win. They're going to try forcing donuts down our throat, but I don't want to do any donuts. It's not worth in this game. I don't feel like I've achieved anything. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want that crap. It's not even worth it. I'll do donuts whenever I feel like I've accomplished some shit. Okay. And now, yeah, you go do a burnout on your own. We got a bunch of uh, skill points. Skill points, whatever you call them. Yeah, I ranked up, and they're not giving me a star or anything, so we're not going to be unlocking any paint schemes or anything like that right now. What would really suck would be if I ranked up after doing this race and unlocked the McDonald's car. Then all that effort, see this guy eating his cheeseburger and his fries and all that crap and drinking his Dr. Pepper would not even come to any use. But yeah, we won this race fastest lap of a 29.68. Oh my god, that's like almost an entire second faster than everybody else in the field. Uh, Kurt Busch second, Jeff Burton third, Juan Pablo on Taco fourth, Kyle Busch fifth, Carl Edwards, Greg Biffle, 
Um, Tony Stewart finished eighth. AJ Allmendinger finished in ninth, and Paul Menard finished in tenth. Is that him in his '98 car? Thanks for watching the first episode of the NASCAR 2011 The Game Race Now series. I don't know if this was exactly good, but um, I won't be unlocking any paint schemes anytime soon. I've got freaking 18,000 NXP to rank up again. And whenever I do rank up, sometimes they give me um, paint schemes and sometimes they give me pins. And there really is no point to have pins in this game. That's the most pointless thing that you Technics ever put in these games, if you ask me. But yeah. Okay, so if you want to request... An episode for this series, just choose a driver and a track that we haven't already raced with or been to down in the comment section below, and if you're the very first one to leave a valid request, then that will be the next episode. Now, once you've requested an episode, you can't request another one for the rest of the series, and that's about it. So, see you next time, that's that, and episode over.